All right, I am back at the Mackenzie River at the Haley and Kusa. It's about 370 right now, 374. Not the highest, that's on the lower end, especially for Kusa, but we came back because it just hit that bare minimum where it should be still really good for Tehaley. But the main thing, the big reason why I wanted to rally up, either way, I think we're gonna fall off Tehaley, but I'm considering potentially throwing a back free wheel off Tehaley as long as it looks good. And I'm about to get my first look. Yeah. Good amount of water though. Looks good. Yeah. Nice in the lower water at the rapid will be better. I'm gonna go take a look at it. Yeah. Well, it dropped off and looks like a good level at least to fall off of. The main thing with Sahaley, the biggest risk is that the drop itself is a little tricky and it's still pretty tall. It's like 70 to 80, somewhere in there. But the main thing is that immediately after it goes into a super gnarly like log choke rapid. So it's really important to have like a good safety below the drop in case something uh, goes wrong. You lose your paddle, your skirt blows or something. We get a look at the rapid after now, but it's just worth not going into this rapid. <laughs> the right over those rocks and just like keep scraping i'd almost just do that just so i can move left and boof <laughs> <laughs> like a gate duck yeah well it does look like if you had to you could duck the log and boof it's kind of a big log in the big hole but definitely options but the best thing to do is to go ahead and uh, you know not run the next rapid not the highest level right now, but I think it looks good. Nice thing about these lower flows is that the flow isn't blowing into the next rapid as hard and the lip will be less boily. So I think this is, all in all, this is a really good level. One, I like this level to run it, but also for the back three wheel. Looks good from down here. There's definitely some options if you like worst cage got blown into the next rapid, but just avoid it, it's the best plan. And we have enough people now that we should have good safety for below the drop, but it's always good to have a backup plan. I'm not gonna head up to the top. Gotta look from above. After being at the drop in Hawaii, this doesn't look as tall as I remember feeling when I was here last time. Doesn't mean it's not tall, but I wasn't sure how the height was gonna look coming back here. All I care about is just as I rotate around, get my bow back down. A lot of people, I always used to see drive right and try to get the diving board. But if you just straight line it down the middle, it's really good. Yeah. But the thing is that we'll have two people on both sides, or have a person on both sides, and we're gonna have a paddle. And some it looks like there are some micro eddies down there that like you could catch as a last. But like the big one above the log? Oh yeah. There's no denying. This is gonna be really stout. <laughs> and really scary. But I've wanted to try something like this for a long time. I wanted to do a back three wheel on a bigger drop. This drop is not small, it's tall, but I think it's a good one for it. Cause I think the lip, I can really come in pretty sideways, huck it, and I think I should get a little bit swallowed. Yeah, gonna be But yeah, I think just bow right, cause I can be like looking at the rock. Bow right a little bit, like 45, just be kind of staring over my shoulder. And then I think it's gonna go down and then it'll lift just slightly. And I think I should just keep staring at the lip so that way I don't throw too early. Yeah. Or throw too flat and have it come around into a boo. Yeah. The only, the only problem is I, I don't like the idea that it's gonna be like this, but I think I'm gonna be able to bring it down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you'll have a hard time getting it around if anything, it's almost like, going past the point. But know? I think I should be able to stop it pretty quickly. Short and sweet. Should be able to rip it around fast. And then with the shorter boat, hopefully I can stop that momentum. Set it vertical. Oh, this is gonna be stout. It's time to suit up. Jeff wants to have a rope attached to him on the rock. And then somebody could be holding that or it could be anchored. And then one person down catching. Yeah. That's good enough. The river's so narrow there. Even if I was like knocked yeah. out on that right side, you guys could get to me. Yeah. yeah when I All right. Geared up. Got the boat ready. Now, time to head on up. I'm gonna ferry across. Get a quick look from river right. 
Make sure that one's good to go. Not only just fall off of this thing, we're gonna throw a back freewheel. Oh, I'm nervous, but I'm feeling really good about it. This is gonna be so stout, but so sick. This is gonna be so stout, holy shit. It's a long lip, I gotta make sure I don't throw too early. I wanna whip it around, I'd rather go on my head than boof. But definitely gotta keep my eye over my shoulder, wait for the right moment. But I also feel like it's a good one because it rolls so long. Yeah. And like you can like just stare it down and then throw. Whereas the other ones, lips are weird. I, mean, I just don't wanna do this, I don't wanna do that. I wanna make sure I whip it down. Even if I go on my head, that's better than my bad saying that. The lift takes a while. That's the only thing I got to be careful of. It's like waiting. Yeah, it's like yeah. waiting a little bit longer than you think, but not too long. One thing I really don't want is my bow to get pulled to the diving board. I want to make sure I stay middle. Right, that's not the lift. It's farther than you think. Farther than you think. Point. Peel out. Dry downstream. Turn. Yeah. Whip it. And then feel it out. All right. Good. Got it. exactly as I had planned. But I'll be honest, I haven't been that scared about something in a very, very long time. So the drop itself is like, it's actually a, a really good drop. The entrance looks a lot funkier than it actually is. It looks like super, super narrow, which it does kind of start off narrow, but as it goes off the lip, it really widens up. But I actually really like this lip. You know, when I run it forward. And the height is super good, it's tall, but it's just, it's a great waterfall. But obviously, if something goes wrong here, that rapid with all the logs could get sketchy. But that's why it's really key to have good safety here. Like, you definitely do not want anyone going into that next rapid. Yeah. Oh, that was fucking terrifying. Kind of opened up a little at the end, but... Fuck, that was so scary. But I've wanted to do that for a long time. I just didn't know what drop. He's getting ready. Yeah. Head now, bud. Good line, bud. Good line, bud. Sick. You! I think so. Nice work, buddy. Nice job, buddy. Nice work, buddy. Yeah, nice work, buddy. Something yeah it's cool. like went around, went off. I always thought it'd be cool to like be on the left side, launch the curler, and then land on the lip. But it's like, why? <laughs> yeah, why would you? But it's cool that you went from above. I think when Shannon first did it, that's what she did. Really? It is. Yeah. I don't know how many people have done it since then. I, I 
can't name anyone. I know. It's just so good out of Yeti. You thinking about doing it again or yeah. no? No. <laughs> Soreness is set again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back at the top. Hayden and Isaac had sick lines. Now Jeff's about to run it. He's wanted this drop for a long time apparently, so I'm stoked he's finally gonna get it. Here we go. Got the boys ready to go. Uh, he kind of pooped it, but I think he's all right. I think it's his nose, but I don't think it's his back. Unfortunately, his bow came up a bit, landed pretty flat. It looks like he might have broken his nose or hurt his nose, but luckily I think his back's okay. Did you hear him land? It's like, dude. Boom. Well, I didn't hear him land because I'm deaf, but. Oh, yeah. But that was, there was a moment I was like, come on, just keep that bow down. He just took so too many strokes. He let go of his paddle. Until and, the end, and yeah. And then it just like bounced back into his hands. I'm glad he's not more hurt. I hope it's just his nose. Yeah, I'm going to measure it. So the sign for Sahaley said it's like 120, which it is not. It looks somewhere between 70 and 80. I don't remember the last time it's been measured, so I'm just going to do it real fast. I don't think it's going to be much more than the 70 rope I have. I think it's pretty similar to like Pepe like we just had in Hawaii. So I'm going to measure it by 70 foot rope and uh, at least get ourselves better in the ballpark because uh, it's not 120. Sorry to uh, crush some dreams out there. <laughs> I feel like I'm pretty much right at the lip right now. Maybe a little below it. Yeah, yeah, I think right at 70. The 70 foot rope, perfect for that. I just want to start measuring drops more. Cause I'm, yeah. I'm kind of done going off of visuals because it's, I think it's fucking people up. I feel like there's a lot of hearsay too. Yeah. But I just want to, if you're there and you have the ability to get to a safe spot and do it, I'm, I just want to start measuring drops more. Like shooting some B-rolls, boys, get those hero shots. I always appreciate when people are willing to do all the B-roll stuff after whatever it is, because if I was doing like an hour of shooting or walking around the drop, I'd still be so nervous. I always like, I can just get it out of the way and then do all that stuff after, because then it's just done. Yeah, right up there, into that wall. Okay, on the left side, yeah. Close stay on, I imagine. Rush told me I'm moving too much for the hero shot. It's called visualizing. Alright, that was such a sick day. I'm so fired up that I only got to come back up and run to Haley, but I've really wanted to throw a back three wheel on a bigger drop for a while now. I just haven't got the opportunity to or just haven't been at the right drop. And I'm pretty like it was I was really really scared but i felt really confident in like what was going to happen but it's still uh still very very intimidating to throw a back through especially on bigger drop and there's just some weird ways that you can land or weird things can happen it's just it's a lot of unpredictable things when it comes to back free wheels but i felt really confident in the way that i do them i'll be able to whip it around and get it back to vertical um so i'm super fired up that the the way i had it in my mind actually is how it played out there's no better feeling than that took a little bit of a hit but all, all being said, I was still like, I don't think it could have gone any better. So fired up that I got to pull that off and do it. So Haley, when I was thinking about it the other day, I was like, man, that might actually be the perfect drop. So I've been kind of going crazy visualizing the last week. And yeah, it went exactly like I wanted. So fired up, I was able to get that bow back down. Yeah, that was solid. It's fired up, the other boys got to run it. A little bummed that Jeff had to get some stitches, but I'm all in all, I'm glad he's okay. Everyone else had good lines as well. Yeah, that was solid, solid day. So fired up to make this rally and now time to head back to White Salmon, head back to BZ, get the trailer all loaded up and head south because it's time to go to Cali, get ready for the multi-days and all the good stuff there. Fired up. Phew.